Well, congratulations, Ring of Honor. You've done it again. You've managed to botch yet another iPay-Per-View. How do you keep doing this? How do you not learn from your past mistakes? How do you not reply to your customers when they're telling you it's screwed up? How do you not test it before the pay-per-view starts? How do you not get a satellite uplink to make sure the quality is there instead of relying on the local service provider? How do you not learn? Invicta Fights learned when they had problems with an iPay-Per-View, they paid for a satellite uplink, and everybody loved their next show. It was tremendous. They learned from their mistakes. They responded to their customers. They improved the quality of their event. You did no such thing. Now, I will say, when the pay-per-view was working, there were good matches to be seen. In fact, in particular, Tommaso Ciampa had an outstanding match. It was just balls to the wall. I loved every part of it. Those two worked the match like it was a Ring of Honor world title match. That's how hard they worked. That's how much the crowd was into it. They supported that match 100%, and it was right before the intermission, so what a great way to send the crowd into intermission happy and excited for the second half of the show. And I was excited for the second half of the show, except there had been issues all through the first half with the video freezing during the stream, and it only got worse as it went on, probably because more people were tuning in to see the main event between Jay and Mark Briscoe. And who could blame them? You know, if they'd heard the issues were bad, they might have thought, well, I'll just tune in later, maybe they'll have it cleaned up by now. And the demand increased, and the quality decreased, and it just froze and froze and froze and froze and froze over and over and over again, to the point where I just threw my hands up in the air and sent out a tweet saying, guys, hey, if you're in the venue, send me the result. Because I'm not going to keep refreshing my computer anymore. I've already done it a hundred times during this pay-per-view. What's the point? You, at some point with an internet pay-per-view when it's going that badly, you just have to give up. P.J. Whitmer defeated Mike Bennett in the opener, and of course, Maria Canales was there. She kept trying to come over to commentary and say things, but the feed kept cutting out so we could never hear what she said. Then, the American Wolves defeated Adrenaline Rush. For those who don't know, that's Davey Richards and Eddie Edwards versus Darius Thomas and ACH. It was a pretty good match, what I could see of it that was. Almost the entire Adam Cole and Roderick Strong match was frozen out by the pay-per-view feed, no matter how much I refreshed it. But in the end, Adam Cole won by countout, and that was the point at which Steve Carino got up from commentary and followed Adam Cole out. And as mentioned, Michael Elgin and Tommaso Ciampa had a great match before the intermission. It was a singles match that Elgin won. Then Jimmy Jacobs defeated Matt Taven and Jay Lethal, in a three-way, which we never saw the finish for. Okay, so here's what happened. One of Truth Martini's hoopla hotties, her name is uh, Scarlett, I believe that's Scarlett Bordeaux from Chikara fame, she got in the ring to cause a distraction, and Paul Turner goes and gets a towel to cover her up when uh, part of her top comes undone. Then Martini runs in the ring to bitch about it and also to interfere in the match, at which point his other hoopla hottie, Salacia, came in, and she's so big that Truth Martini can actually hide behind her. She picked up Jimmy Jacobs. Lethal super kicked her. She dropped him. And then the video froze and jumped ahead. And Matt Taven somehow retained off of this interference. But nobody on Twitter knew because everybody's feed froze everywhere on the internet. All we know is that somehow led to the finish and Matt Taven getting the pin and retaining in the triple threat. Then we had the ROH World Tag Team Championship, and the finish was that Redragon retained with a hand draped over Cedric Alexander after Bobby Fish hit him with a super kick. Yeah, it, <laughs> the one time the feed actually works, it comes back right before the finish. Now, why it couldn't have done that in the last match, who the fuck knows? Then Kevin Steen and Matt Hardy had a grudge match, which was barely watchable, but again, it did unfreeze just before the end. Hardy used a pair of steel chairs, and two twists of fate to finally get the pin. And that's Kevin Steen's own fault, really, because he was the one who asked for a no-DQ match. So, bad luck for him. And then, of course, we had the main event, which was ROH World Title, Jay Briscoe defending against his brother Mark Briscoe. This is where the pay-per-view feed totally died, but in the end, Jay retained the Ring of Honor title with three super kicks and three Jay drillers. 
That was how much it took to keep Mark Briscoe down. But it didn't take much to keep this pay-per-view feed down because Sinclair and Ring of Honor just can't figure out what the fuck to do. Stevie J, AngryMarks.com.